What's up nerds, I'm a Renegade Cactus, but you can call me whatever you want. Welcome back to another Pokemon box opening and... Oh, <laughs> I'm stupid. I got another Hidden Fates. Yes, the Raichu again. And the Gyarados! <laughs> and the Charizard. Uh, why did I? Why do I do this to myself? Well, I mean, this time I actually can explain. I actually can explain. Like, I recently looked through uh, my, my, my stacks, my magic cards, my Pokemon cards. I, I looked through most of my cards. And I actually put some cards online for sale. Gotta get a knife. Ah, put some cards online for sale. And basically I made quite uh, quite good money because like the occasional 10-15 bucks card and then uh, actually pulled one in magic that's 50 bucks right now so stuff like that and altogether it, it was quite quite decent and I, before that I promised myself that I would not buy any more cards before I didn't like get some money back like, of course, without any big cards like the Charizard or whatever, there is basically no way to get all your money back. But, or, uh, sell them away, let's, let's say it like that. Uh, but I was like, okay, um, until I don't get at least something back, I won't buy any more cards. Which, in my opinion, is a pretty, a pretty acceptable deal with myself. And then I got some cards back, and the guy who sold me the first uh, three tins actually had some more in stock. And this time, as you can see, three different ones, but I paid almost exactly the same as with the three, um, three Raichu ones. Because it seems like he couldn't really... Okay, that was just a hair. Because <laughs> it seemed like he couldn't really get it away for a higher price, so I... Well, I took the chance. Again. This is only chance. This, these packs, to me, are basically gambling. Like, Hidden Fates is basically gambling. And I really don't condone gambling. In this case, I at least know that I'm getting something, even if it's not, if it's not what I want. But yeah, um, if I... I'm, I'm gonna say this... This is gonna sound ridiculous, but listen. Listen, um, bear with me. If I pull the Charizard, you know the one I'm talking about, the Charizard GX, uh, full art, shiny, whatever. If I pull it, A, every box that I haven't opened yet will stay closed and I will sell them because of money reasons. Uh, and if I pull the Charizard, I'm gonna get some more boxes and stuff like that. <laughs> Uh, well, let's see. Whereas the cool thing about this, I said it last time, the code cards, it doesn't matter if it's um, that you see that it's white, a white code card, because there are only white code cards, because this is a freaking amazing set. One, two, three. Was it one, two, three, four? I think it was one, two, three, right? And then this should be, yeah. Okay, so basically one, two, three, four with the energy card. Whee. Well, let's let's see what we can find. We got Brooks, Pewter City Gym, Giovanni's Exile, Cocos Trap, Ekans, Coughing, Paris, Cubone, Voltorb, Misty Cerulean City Gym, and Brock's Training Holographic. Which is a cool looking card, not gonna lie, but it is, yeah. <laughs> Once again, this is basically nothing. Basically. I'm gonna sleeve the reverse holographic, I'm gonna put everything over here. These, once again, will be cards that I'll either just keep for keepsake or that I'm gonna try and sell. I don't know yet. I, I don't have any plans per se with them, so we'll, we'll see, we'll see. But let's get to the second. Let's get to the second pack. Again, white code card. I don't know what to do with them yet. One, two, three, four. I might give them away in this video. I might not. I'm not sure. I, I'll say that. In this video, if I'll give him away. We got a Fire Energy card, we got a Chansey, we got Brox Grid, Scyther, Voltorb, Coughing, Cubone, Geodude, Jigglypuff, 
Misty's Determination and Erica's Hospitality, not even a rare. That, or a uh, holographic, I mean. Not gonna lie, that does not, in any case, in any way, shape, or form, warrant a white code card. It really doesn't. Okay, let's open the shiny Charizard pack. I'm just saying, the shiny Charizard pack. <laughs> Legend has it. I'm sure you you all heard those things. I mean, uh, that. Okay, no, they're all that flimsy. That that code card uh, felt kind of more frail than the rest. But I'm I'm pretty sure you've heard like, or some of you heard those rumors like when Pokemon was more or less around uh, first, like the first Pokemon cards came out and everyone knew that there was a Charizard in it, which at that time was by far not as uh, expensive, of course. Um, there were people that were like, yeah, I, I only want the Charizard booster packs because there's a higher chance of the Charizard, which is completely untrue. Same with, as far as I know, the tins, like in a Charizard tin, there it's not uh, more common than in any other tin. But it was always, it's, it's like th there are so many rumors regarding Pokemon, especially like we all know uh, by now the, the truck rumor from Red and Blue, even if you haven't played it then, I'm sure you've heard of it, that you can find Mew under the truck near the SSN. And also if you have the Red Edition, you should pick a Charmander because it, uh, it, it gains experience faster or it gets stronger and Squirtle and by uh, after that Blastoise gets stronger in blue, which is completely stupid. But whatever, let's get on with the cards. Farfetch'd, Jinx, by the way, Farfetch'd, one of my favorite Pokemon. Misty's Determination, Magikarp, Staryu, Slowpoke, Voltorb, Pikachu, Magikarp again, and ooh, the other Raichu GX. That is actually cool. Like it's 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 technically it's the same card, but it's just different design. And I don't mind it. I'm pretty sure I pulled it last time as well. But I mean, come on, it's, it's, it's a GX card, so even if it isn't worth shit, which I'm pretty sure about, I don't mind. I really don't mind. Like, GX cards, full art cards, whatever. I'm a huge fan, even if they are not amazing or valuable or whatever. One, two, three, four. Okay. Let's see. We got Water Energy, Giovanni's Exile, Koga's Trap, Lieutenant Search's Strategy, Charmander, Magikarp, Jigglypuff, Clefairy, Slowpoke, Reverse Holographic Scyther, and... <laughs> oh my goodness, I sound like a smoker. Uh, what I love. So, the reason why I'm pretty much laughing why I'm LMAFOing is this card. Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno seems to be pretty much the most common card uh, or rare card in this whole set. Like this, as well as the full art, like this is technically not the full art card. There is still the full art card that we pulled last time. Both of them <laughs> bring you a whopping six bucks each. And that's looking at Dawn Glare, which as I keep saying is not necessarily the best when it comes to prices. Or not the most correct one. Let's let's keep it at that. Um, <laughs> so yeah, basically uh, it's great that we got a such a cool card, but holy shit it's worth shit. Alright, let's jump in and get the Gyarados. This is the this is like, my, yeah, all in all my fifth Hidden Fate tin <laughs> and only the second Pokemon, basically. As in, uh, the first three all were Raichu and this is the first time I'm opening something else, something other than Raichu. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna open this up. <clears throat> we got the Gyarados GX with Dragon Rage and Hyper Beam, that's just a strong card and pretty much nothing else like I don't see this as being used very, very much but whatever it doesn't need to be 
I got it, that's all that matters. Um, of course we got four boosters and I love that they put one of each uh, booster design in each tin. That's something that they wouldn't need to do, but it's great that they do. Okay, by the way, uh, we pulled the three legendary birds in this booster, in the other one, in the three legendary birds booster. So we're gonna start with that one to get a possible uh, bird out of the way. I mean, again, it's, it's completely random, but still, it's, it's amazing. One, two, three, four. Come on. Maybe give me a shiny? Like, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be Charizard. Of course, I would flip the sh my shit if it was a Charizard. But I'll take pretty much any shiny. Steel Energy, Brooks Grid, Misty Cerulean City Gym, Chansey, Paris, Caterpie, Charmander, Clefairy, Psyduck, Reverse Holographic Electrode, and... Ooh, Giovanni's Exile, which, if I remember correctly, also is a pretty dang, uh, like, it, I'm gonna use this term loosely, common rare. But yeah, this one, the full art Giovanni's Exile, gives you a whopping two bucks. So it's really cool. It's a really cool card. Uh, like, the, the look of it is amazing. It is just, it's great to pull uh, full art cards. I just, like I said, even if they aren't worth shit, I love it. I love them. They're amazing. I'm gonna put all the good, or good pulls over here. <laughs> yeah, here you go. Okay, now we're gonna go with the Mewtwo. There is a Mewtwo in this pack, a shiny one, that Don Glare, uh puts at 77 bucks, so I wouldn't be against that, like, at all. I wouldn't be mad. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> Psychic Energy, my favorite type. Giovanni's Exile, Koga's Trap, Brock's Pewter City Gym, Magikarp, Star U, Voltorb, Pikachu, Jigglypuff, Misty's Water Command, and <laughs> Misty's Water Command. I mean, it's two rares for the price of one, I'm gonna give him that. But other than that, I it's like, uh-huh, okay. And what else? <laughs> uh, I spent way too much money on that. I spent way too much money on that. I'm, I'm still, again, I'm still having fun. But Hidden Fates, uh, Hidden Fates is just a an all-out gamble. There is nothing to be said about, oh, but I want to play with this. No, no, really, this is just a gamble because I, as many, many others, am looking for that Charizard. With the exception that I like bought six tins all in all, with those three it's six now. And after that I will probably never ever buy another hidden fates. I, I don't have I don't have the funds for that. <laughs> Fairy Energy, Brock's Grit, Farfetched, Graveler, Geodude, Eevee, Jigglypuff, Coughing, Staryu, Ekans, and Kangaskhan, not even holographic. Once again, eh, like kinda, kinda eh. I don't need, I mean, I would love big hits, but I don't really need any big hits. I just want something that I can make a little bit of money back in order to feel a little bit better of, of throwing that much money out of the window. Like, let's face it, that, that, that is money not well spent. And I would advise you, don't do it. Don't do what I do. Don't, like, normally I would get, uh, yeah, four. Normally I would get the the cheapest, the cheapest packs that I can find every now and then, uh, or just newer packs or newer boxes, because why not? But this, this is, this is torture. <laughs> Finding energy, chancy. I hope you still enjoy it, because if you don't enjoy it, then I'm, like, then this is a total waste. Rocks, Pewter, City Gym, Giovanni's Exile, Ekans, Canopy. Paris, Charmander, Slowpoke, ooh, a shiny Magnus Zone. Like, not a money bringer, not a money bringer. We got like four bucks or something, but still, it's a shiny Magnus Zone and we got a Mr. Mime. It looks incredible, the foiling on this, like the, the texture is so amazing. Those shiny cards are just pure beauty. Like even, like I said, even if it's not anything that I can sell, I'm still 
pretty dang happy with a shiny Magnezone. Oh wow, that's already the the, the fourth pack. Oh shit. <laughs> <sighs> Let's get it over with. Get the last one. <laughs> Again, I I enjoy it. I enjoy opening it and all. And I I am normally not really a gambler. Like th there's this one one thing I do because um like I know people who play the lottery every month or however often that shit um like is or is possible to play. Um, I know people who do that and that's quite costly because basically you never win. Like the, the chances to win is so astronomically small and even if you do like there is possibility of smaller wins than the, the, the jackpot. But I know people who like use their money for that like or some of the money and over time that's Expensive as hell. Now, as you might notice, I I really am not a big fan of gambling, but every now and then I do it myself with stuff like this. And Pokemon cards in general is basically gambling, un but I know I'm getting something out of it. That's a beautiful card. I know I'm getting something out of it. Because if you play the lottery and you don't win anything, then that's it. There's nothing. The money is gone. Here, I at least have the cards. So, um... But there's one thing I do because I, like as many people say, playing the lottery or uh, something like that, gambling, is not necessarily about winning, it's about the idea of winning. It's about like giving yourself the ability to dream. And so I started uh, something like, I think two, almost two years ago now, that every month I'll get like uh, scratch, scratch tickets, uh, scratch scratch off tickets or something like that. I don't know how you call them in English. I think like scratch tickets, you know what I mean. The ones you scratch off and then they say if you won something or not. Um, and I get some for all in all 10 bucks. Although with the prices around here, it's nine bucks, but still I, I give myself 10 bucks to gamble basically. Not more. If I uh, if I win anything, and it's it's happened a few times, like um, one of those uh, one of those tickets costs three bucks, and winning three bucks is pretty common. Like absolutely, of course, because they want people to come come back. I anything I I win under ten bucks, I pay I, I use for more tickets. Everything over, I take for myself, which was once. 15 bucks. That's pretty much it. Um, so with 10 bucks, I have three scratch tickets every month. If I win small amounts of money with them, I get more. If I don't, that's it. I don't allow myself any more uh, to, to, uh, yeah, to buy any more after those 10. Uh, after those three, I mean, after those 10 bucks. Like everything that I get from them. Sure, with that money I can buy one or two more, but other than that, no. So that's, that's basically <laughs> controlled gambling, which is still gambling. I don't get anything out of it other than the knowledge that I'm like doing something like gambling, um, which is stupid. I won't say that it is not. And <laughs> is it the third one? Did I pull? I'm pretty sure I pulled one last time. So, yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's something I, I keep saying, GX cards, all no, love them, but god damn it. So yeah, I'm technically, I am gambling every month, but with a very, uh, very small amount of money, that amount of money never changes. I'm just doing it because, why? basically for the heck of it, and with this, it's basically the same with the exception that it's a lot more money. <laughs> That's Psyche Energy, Cocos Trap, Brock's Pure City Gym, Lieutenant Surges, something something, Psyduck, Staryu, Clefairy, Slowpoke, Pikachu, Lapras, and... Don't you hate those packs? <laughs> like, I... No, there, there, there's really nothing about this kind of pack where it's like, yeah, you get... 
the same rare twice because those rares are never worth anything, like never. If there was a shiny that I got twice, which is not possible in this case, I wouldn't mind, but like this, absolutely sucks. Okay, we got two more packs, two more chances of getting at least something. We got Fairy Energy, Misty's Determination, Pokemon Center Lady, Sabrina's Suggestion, Charmander, Voltorb, Coughing, Ekans, Cubone, Rose Holographic Electrode, and... What did I just say? This is the third pack! The third pack where I get the same rare double. Like, ain't that shit ridiculous? <laughs> that is completely and utterly ridiculous. Alright guys, last pack, last pack of this huge waste of money, <laughs> uh, give me something, Grass Energy, Jinx, Magmar, Farfetch'd, Staryu, Voltorb, Pikachu, Jigglypuff, Eggens, oh, it's a shiny Voltorb, I have never seen that card before. Let me uh, quickly look it up. Oh, I see it's seven bucks. That's, I mean, that's something. And a butterfree. <laughs> wow. Anticlimactic. <clears throat> but I'm gonna be honest, that Voltorb looks awesome. That little light right here looks like it has a tooth. <laughs> okay, is that card good? Like, let's check it out. 50 HP, that's a basic Pokemon, of course. Floating electrons. If this Pokemon has any energy attached to it, it has no retreat costs. Okay, and Thundershock, flip a coin, if your, active, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. So it's a completely standard uh, base, basic Pokemon. But I mean, it is, it is a shiny. I said I wanted some shiny cards. And now let's check it out what we have here. We have, of course, the three main, like the three tin cards which are really cool, like art as always, amazing. We got two shinies, Voltorb and Magnezone. We got two Raichu GX, one uh, <laughs> Moltres, Zapdos and Articuno, stupid rare, and Giovanni's Exile. Like, I've watched, I've watched a few people open these packs now. And um, like I said, it seems these cards, no matter which version, this card and the Onyx, they are everywhere. I, I mean everywhere. All right, um, if you wanna win some code cards, all you have to do is um, tell me what your favorite Sun and Moon Pokemon is. Like generation, what was it? Seven. Your favorite generation seven Pokemon. And anything from Alola. Just tell me and you might win some cards. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, whatever. I did that to myself. I did this to myself. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm the Renegade Cactus and I got around. Bye bye.